All right, so we're back here, and as you can see here, after fixing those issues with the things, with the wheels, now we have all four wheels ready to go. So first, before we start, let's make sure everything is plugged in so that it works. The red cable, with the red cable, insert it here so that the motor will run, and the black with the black, because yesterday we did some tests to see if we could bring back the other one to life, which unfortunately has one completely dead part, which I'll have to buy and replace, which is a pity, but at least it's not the motor. The motor would have been much worse. I really love that Tamiya motor, so that would have been a real problem. Let's hook up the battery here again. The original battery is not with us. It's being charged at the moment. And this is not the controller that I really wanted to use. I like the other kind of style controller, but this is what we'll use for now. Turn on the controller first. With hobby grade machines, you tend to want to do that first and then turn on the vehicle. It looks like it bound properly. We've got steering here, left and right. And we do have power. I'm going to lift it because this is four wheel drive, unlike the other one that I had was set up as rear wheel drive, which um, is better for drifting, but we'll just have to go with four wheel drive as I haven't had time to remove the drive shaft and all that. But it's got plenty of great power. And um, yeah, whoa, it wanted to race away. There may be some trimming issues here. I don't know, let me see. Which way does it want to fly over to? That's forward, that's back. Okay, I think it's okay. And um, it always wants to have less steering than it should in the beginning, so I had to give it some extra oomph there. Anyway, now the next part is I'm going to attach this up here and we're gonna then try a quick FPV and see how that turns out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.